So you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas and you're considering North Las Vegas as a final destination. However, you want to know the pros and the cons, the good, the bad, and the ugly about North Las Vegas. It doesn't take much internet sleuthing to see that North Las Vegas has a bit of a reputation. And that's exactly what we're talking about in this video today. In fact, we're going back 105 years and talk about the roots of North Las Vegas and why it has a bit of a reputation and if North Las Vegas is a good place to live and a good place to live for you more specifically. And we're going all in on the pros and cons of North Las Vegas right now. Now, as I mentioned, we're here today talking about North Las Vegas, Nevada, and if it's a good place to live. Now, overall, North Las Vegas, along with Las Vegas and Henderson, are part of the entire Las Vegas Valley. So whatever overall pros there are for Las Vegas and Henderson are probably going to be pros for North Las Vegas, too. And the cons for Las Vegas and Henderson are probably going to affect North Las Vegas too, because we're all in the same valley and we're all part of this amazing Las Vegas experience. Now, because we're such a new area, including Las Vegas and Henderson, you know, we have growing pains. We're a relatively new city. All three cities are relatively new. So we have the growing pains of new cities. And of course, North Las Vegas has those too. It's also one of the exciting reasons to live here because of the incredible growth. And we're going to talk about that today. Okay, friends, before we jump into the first con, which we're going all the way back to the early 1900s for, I want to pull up the Google Maps and show you where North Las Vegas sits on the map and how large it is in relationship to Las Vegas, Henderson, and Summerlin. You're going to want to see this, and we're going to talk a little bit about the population density in all of three of those areas, all four of those areas. Now, as you can see, this is Clark County. It's a, it's a very large county. It extends all the way up to Mesquite, down to Laughlin, almost all the way to Pahrump, and way up in the corner there. It's very, it's one of the, it's just a huge county, right? And so the Las Vegas Valley is this tiny little circle right here in the middle of the map. Now, next thing we're gonna do is pop up North Las Vegas. And as you can see, as part of the Las Vegas Valley, North Las Vegas is actually a pretty large area that extends all the way up to 15, down right into uh, the city, right next to downtown Las Vegas. So it's pretty big area. In fact, it's approximately 102 square miles. Pretty interesting, right? That's a big area. Now let's take a look at Las Vegas and see how big Las Vegas is in comparison to North Las Vegas. So as we can see, Las Vegas has a funny shape and it goes all the way up the highway by Kyle Canyon up 95 there. It goes all the way past Summerlin. Uh, Summerlin is a part of Las Vegas. People need to remember that Summerlin is not a city. It's just a master plan community in Las Vegas. It's not a city. Whereas North Las Vegas is with its own mayor, fire department, police department, politics, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, this is the size of Las Vegas in comparison, but this is on the square miles are only 140. So North Las Vegas is only about 38 square miles smaller than the city of Las Vegas. Okay, now let's take a look at Henderson. Henderson is in the southeast part of the valley, and you can see it takes up a pretty big area too, but guess what? It's not very much bigger than North Las Vegas. Henderson is only about 117 square miles. So they're pretty close in size. All three of the major cities are close in size. And just for fun, now Summerlin's not a city like Henderson, Las Vegas, and North Las Vegas is, but let's pull it up on the map. I wanna show you how big Summerlin is compared to the rest of the Las Vegas Valley, just so you know. So as I mentioned, Summerlin is in Las Vegas, and this is the area of Summerlin right around here. It's on the west side, very desirable. Lots of very expensive homes in Summerlin, it's very nice but that's only if you can afford it and only if that kind of thing is something that you like and not everybody likes that type of experience. Anyway, uh, Summerlin is only 36 square miles, so it's much smaller than North Las Vegas, Henderson, or Las Vegas, but it's in that western area right up along the foothills. Anyway, let's get to the first con. We're going back all the way to 1919. Now, real quick, I did a little research on the U.S. Census website uh, at population density, and I was surprised to find this out. 
but just so you know, North Las Vegas has the lowest population density when you compare it to Las Vegas, Henderson, or even Summerlin within Las Vegas. Summerlin has over 3,100 people per square mile. Henderson has over 2,900 people per square mile. Las Vegas has over 4,500 people per square mile. And good old North Las Vegas only has about 2,500 people per square mile. So the population density in North Las Vegas is much smaller than the other three areas. Well, friends, we're gonna start off with cons on this one. The story of North Las Vegas is a comeback story. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. So we're starting off with the cons. Con number one happened a long time ago, about 105 years ago, and it'll explain how North Las Vegas got off to a rough start. Well, there's this fella, his name was Thomas L. Williams. He was from Utah and he moved to this area and he bought up a bunch of land which where Jerry's Nugget and Las Vegas Boulevard is right now. So it's in that close in kind of area. He bought up a bunch of land there and he started building out infrastructure. Well, wasn't very long before uh, he started selling off some plots of land. Now, Tom was a church going teetotaler, but apparently he either needed the money or he had some libertarian ideas because he ended up selling quite a few dozens of plots of land to moonshiners because, well, outskirt kind of land was very valuable to those guys. They needed to be out a little bit from the main city to do their moonshining, right? So North Las Vegas got off to a pretty rough start with moonshiners while the rest of the country was dry in prohibition. North Las Vegas was very wet. The booze was flowing. I'm sure they were making plenty of money back then, making their homemade whiskey, their moonshine. And the point I wanted to mention that, well, Las Vegas was on a train stop, but North Las Vegas was not. So there was no big company that started North Las Vegas. There was no train company, a rail company that started. It wasn't a mining company that started North Las Vegas. It was Tom, Will Tom Williams, the libertarian, selling plots of land to the moonshiners. That's how North Las Vegas got started. Now roll forward to the mid 20th century and we're up to con number two. Con number two is redlining. What is redlining? I'm gonna tell you what redlining is. It's illegal, that's what it is. But while they were selling luxury homes at the Paradise Palms Country Club on Desert Inn, the people of North Las Vegas were getting redlined. And what is redlining? It's defined as a discriminatory practice that consists of a systematic denial of financial service, loans, insurance, and other types of financial services. People get denied because of the area they live in, and oftentimes it was because of their race and ethnicity. Now this has a long-term effect on a city. The crime is not a crime, it just happened then. If redlining goes on for a while, it has a long-term effect on an area, a city, and especially like North Las Vegas. And so that is part of the North Las Vegas history. It was a red line area. And that practice is no longer legal. In fact, it is one of the most important things they teach you when you're getting a real estate or a mortgage license that that practice is no longer acceptable. And I don't ever see it happening. It's possible but that it could happen, but people really watch out for it. So I don't see redlining happening anymore. That was a practice back then. It's illegal and it really doesn't happen now. Well, those were the first two gut punches, con one and two, and now we're getting ready to come up to con number three, gut punch number three. And if you wanna know everything there is to know about the Las Vegas Valley from tip to tip and everything in between, then come join me on my neighborhood deep dives. We're covering a lot of ground, we're learning things, and we're having fun. Hit subscribe, tap the bell, and never miss a show. We got new shows every week. Anyway, we're up to con number three, as I mentioned. I'm sorry to say it was the 70s and 80s. Look, the Vietnam War had just ended. We went off the gold standard. Nixon took us off the gold standard, and inflation was runaway. Congress even had to do price controls. Well, the young people of today don't realize that. And the interest rates went up to 18%, making it very difficult to buy a car or a house or anything like that. And that really hurt North Las Vegas. They were already struggling from the first two gut punches. Now, in those days, I was a drug counselor in Houston, Texas, and I can tell you that there were serious drug problems everywhere, and North Las Vegas was severely affected by that as well. It was an extra difficult period for North Las Vegas. In fact, they even made a movie about those times. It was called The Nasty Boys. It was about a North Las Vegas narcotics unit, six guys, and they would bust drug users and dealers and go after automatic weapons. It was one of those kind of movies. 
Eventually, in 1990, they turned it into a TV show, uh, and the, the director was Dick Wolf. Well, that show didn't really go anywhere, but if you're a TV watcher, you know Dick Wolf created Law & Order, and that show was very successful. In fact, I can't even believe it, but they're still making Law & Orders. Anyway, con number three, gut punch, 60s and 70s. It wasn't all about bell bottoms and disco and bad 80s music. There were some serious problems going on in the world, in the United States, all around, and in North Las Vegas. It was a tough time. Now, con number four, we're up to con number four, and that was the 2000s. Now, what happened in the 2000s is we had a dot-com bust and followed by 9-11. So how does that affect North Las Vegas? Well, those two incidents, the dot-com bust and 9-11, really hurt Las Vegas. Because North Las Vegas is a bedroom community for Las Vegas, whatever hurts Las Vegas is probably going to have an effect on North Las Vegas, and it certainly did during the 2000s. So it has been struggling over the years for a variety of reasons. And so that's simply con number four, the 2000s dot-com bust and 9-11 hurt Las Vegas and it hurt North Las Vegas. All right, friends, now we're up to the fifth and final con, living in North Las Vegas. And that was the Great Recession that, you know, from around 2008, 2010, around in that time period. And the Great Recession really hurt North Las Vegas. Now, banks were loaning money to people like crazy that couldn't pay it back. And that was the big problem. This was spurred on by the government who felt at the time that increased home ownership meant a strong country. Well, it does if people are strong enough to own homes, pay it back, pay their bills, that kind of thing. But when there was a stock market correction around 2008, people just started leaving their homes and walking away. They didn't have a lot in it. They weren't underwritten from the first place. I even heard stories where dogs were underwritten for loans for homes in those days. And so what happened was is approximately a third of the residential homes in North Las Vegas went into foreclosure and were no longer paying taxes. And at that time, North Las Vegas was not very diversified. Both Las Vegas and North Las Vegas had been working on that. I'm going to be telling you about that. But it wasn't very diversified. So when they lost all of that tax revenue from a third of the homes that were in North Las Vegas, well, they nearly went bankrupt. And their credit rating went all the way down to junk status. That's terrible for a city. Almost went bankrupt. Now, North Las Vegas has been making an incredible comeback, and that's what we're getting ready to start talking about, and we're still in the process of revitalization in the great city of North Las Vegas. Now, stick with me for the pros. They're going to be pretty interesting too, friends. Well, friends, that was a cons, and, you know, I always like getting the cons out of the way. It's like eating your vegetables first. Uh, in this case, these were really historical cons, and I really enjoyed researching and uh, sharing those with you. They're very interesting. And now we're getting into the pros. Why I think North Las Vegas is a great place to live. You know, I've got friends in North Las Vegas. I've got clients in North Las Vegas. I do business in North Las Vegas. It's a great place. One of my friends in North Las Vegas, Bobby, uh, was asking me the other day, he said he was watching YouTube, saw one of my competitors on YouTube saying bad things about North Las Vegas. He's saying, Michael, why is she saying those bad things about us? I'm going, Bobby, well, she probably doesn't really understand the whole history of North Las Vegas, where it's been and where it's come and where it's going. And so I told him I was going to make this video. I told him I was going to be real. We're going to cover the cons we have. Now you know what some of the issues are, but now I'm going to go over the pros and we're going to see what's happened. This is a comeback story. We're going to see where Las Vegas is right now and where it's going. And we're getting into the pros right now. By the way, my name's Micah Bleacher. I love living in Las Vegas. I think you're going to love living here too. Now I've lived here for more than 20 years, but before that I've moved all over the country and I understand the pain points of cross-country moving and it can be very stressful and I've got a team and we work hard and we are here to help you through those stressful points in a cross-country move. So whether you're moving in a month or a year, it doesn't matter. Right now is always the best time to give us a call. We can get started helping you kind of navigate the way uh, to Las Vegas. Feel free to reach out, uh, shoot me a text, send me an email, give me a call, schedule a Zoom with me. I'd love to get to know you, listen to your needs, hear you, and help you start making that painless, stress-free move to Las Vegas today. Anyway, pro number one, here we go. 
Welcome to the new north. North Las Vegas's reputation has drastically changed. In fact, you know, when I first got to town, they called North Las Vegas disparaging name. I heard people say, call it Northtown. And, you know, I felt like that was kind of disparaging. Now I hear the other names that's being called and it's being called the new north by some people because things have so drastically changed. And here's what's happened. In 2013, a fellow was elected by the name of John Lee to the position of mayor. And this guy is pretty good. And he brought that town from junk status to an A plus bond rating in only six years. He turned that whole city around, him and his team. He diversified the economy, and it was a comeback story. It's like a phoenix rising out of the ashes. He's done such a good job turning that city around. Now, Mayor Lee told the Las Vegas Sun in an interview in 2016 that his main goal is to see the city of North Las Vegas and the reputation that is carried with it. He said that his main goal is to make sure that the reputation of North Las Vegas is one of industry, manufacturing, job creation, profitability, and growth into the future. And you know what? That's exactly what Mayor John Lee did. He was quite a guy. I didn't know him personally, but I do know one of his people that were on the economic development team, and she's amazing. They did amazing work with North Las Vegas. In fact, it was only six years where the bond rating went from junk to AA plus rating. I find that very amazing. Now in 11 years from 2013 to 2024, North Las Vegas went from near bankruptcy to having a fast growing economy with millions of square feet in industrial space and retail space and big plans for more. Just look at the companies settling into North Las Vegas. One of the most recognizable, of course, is Amazon. I love that they have a distribution center in North Las Vegas. Sometimes I make an Amazon order and it feels like it was delivered the day before I made the order. It comes so fast. Not really, but you know, I've had something ordered and in a couple of hours there's a knock on the door and my package has arrived because the distribution center is so close. I love that. Thank you, North Las Vegas. Now, the former Las Vegas city manager said that North Las Vegas is still in its growth infancy. Imagine that. There's a lot more land to develop and many areas that are yet to be redeveloped. And the city of North Las Vegas has one distinct advantage to the other cities here, and that is that it has thousands of acres of land that can be developed by companies. Now, North Las Vegas has grown a lot since 2013. Its population has increased by 25% to over 282,000. So in fact, I just read an article in the RJ that North Las Vegas has just surpassed Reno, Nevada in population by nearly a thousand people. I think that's amazing. North Las Vegas is now the third largest city in Nevada. I'm sorry, Reno, you're no longer the biggest little city. You're smaller than North Las Vegas. I still love you, Reno, but watch out for North Las Vegas. It's really coming along. Now, let me ask you this question. As North Las Vegas continues to mature, what do you think the price of property is gonna do? Now, I don't have a crystal ball and I don't know, but if it keeps growing and the density keeps filling in and the demand keeps coming in, where do you think property values are gonna go? I think they're gonna go up. I think they're gonna go up for North Las Vegas and Las Vegas. Anyway, pro number one, new North, new reputation, new sheriff in town, new bond ratings, things have changed and even more exciting stuff. Stick with me, I've got more pros about North Las Vegas that you're gonna to wanna to hear. Pro number two, folks, in North Las Vegas, you can get more for your money than you can in Las Vegas. That's a pretty well-known fact. In fact, the median home in North Las Vegas runs approximately 425,000 and the median price home in Las Vegas runs about 490,000. And there are a lot more less expensive homes in North Las Vegas to be had. So if you're on a budget and you want the full Las Vegas experience because North Las Vegas is included in the valley, that location might be a really great spot for you to save a little money. The other interesting thing about the North is that the lots can be a bit bigger. Now, that's true also about the Northwest and the Lone Mountain area. And of course, the new builds in North Las Vegas are probably gonna have very small lots because we have a land shortage, but it's an older area and 
If you're looking at older homes, there's a good chance you can get one with a big lot in North Las Vegas and get more for your money. There's some bargains to be had. Give me a call. I can help you find great properties in North Las Vegas. Well, friends, we're up to pro number three, and that's a lot of living options in North Las Vegas. Of course, you can get an older home on a big lot, uh, lots of resales out there, and there are over 55 communities. In fact, there are three over 55 communities in North Las Vegas. Number one, Sun City Aliente. Now that's built all around the golf course and there's a casino nearby. It's a great over 55 community with lots of amenities and options. Uh, there's over 2,000 homes in that community and the prices are pretty good. If you're on a budget, it's a good place to check out. Now the second over 55 community is starting at a little bit less and that's Ardiente. And there's only about 700 homes in that community, but that is definitely one to check out. They are not on a golf course, but they do have lots of amenities in the clubhouse. And uh, it's definitely worth taking a look at if you're looking for over 55 communities. Now, the third over 55 community is Del Webb at North Ranch. Now they start from the mid 400s and I think they're still building out there. It's a great place. Everybody loves Del Webb. It's definitely a community that if you're shopping for over 55s that you probably want to check out now it's not all older homes and it's not all over 55 communities there's many new builds to check out here are a few sienna square the urban collection at noble peak kalea bay and kalea trails orchard canyon and ashcroft vista at north ranch la posada azure park and durrell place watercolors the seasons at fullerton cove and juno point there are new builds going on all over the place in north las vegas and there are some new communities being planned all the time out there it's a great place to check out new builds it's a growing community and it's one that you probably want to check out now friends we're up to pro number four for north las vegas and that is the incredible industrial and manufacturing tax base that helps pay for all the infrastructure in north las vegas Remember, that's what happened in the Great Recession. All of those residential properties got foreclosed on and they lost their tax base. Well, that has completely changed with all of the industrial and manufacturing going on in that corridor along I-15 and the other areas in North Las Vegas. It's amazing. Now, the current mayor says that after they've established water, a water connection to these new areas, there's gonna be another 11 million square feet of land to build on for companies to move here to Las Vegas. And in fact, that's what's happening. We are seeing not only the economy of North Las Vegas diversifying, but the entire Las Vegas Valley has been uh, incredibly uh, diversifying over the last 10 years or so. Businesses are coming in, sports teams are coming in, Hollywood's coming in from California. And so that's really spurring our growth. It's spurring our diversity. We have a great business climate here for businesses. It's not so great in California. It's not so great on the West Coast. In Las Vegas, it's good. And in North Las Vegas, it's amazing their design to bring in new businesses and that's what's bringing north las vegas back from the ashes and these businesses are going to create thousands of jobs we're looking forward to it here in las vegas okay friends we're up to pro number five and that is the revitalization of many areas that are older within north las vegas and we're going to start with number one at the site of the former Texas Station Casino, Hilo Park is going in. Now, Hilo Park and Champion Square are going to host an athletic complex, residential complex. They're taking over the ice rink there and the Golden Knights are going to run that. And it's supposed to be just an incredible facility with mixed use, residential, sports, business, that kind of thing. And it's supposed to be amazing. And I am really looking forward to seeing that thing take off. Now, another project that's planned is one that's called Gateway Village, and that is the redevelopment of 20 acres near downtown. Downtown North Las Vegas is very near downtown Las Vegas. It's right in the city center there. Now, Gateway Village is going to include healthcare facilities, educational opportunities, shops, restaurants, parks, and multi-family living opportunities. It's going to completely transform the downtown corridor. And honestly, that area is a little rough right now and it needs transformation. And we are very happy that we're getting ready to see that happen. Now, another project is going to be the UNLV North Campus. Now that includes 5,000 acres to be developed. 
Now they're going to use it for multiple uses, educational, healthcare facilities, and other uses yet to be determined. But we're very excited to see what the university is going to do with that space. And of course, uh, there was a project called Helios. There was 135 acres that was going to be developed into medical and all these other facilities. Well, that didn't work out, but guess what? North Las Vegas bought that land back and they are looking for another partner to develop interesting projects there. Now, the fact that they bought that back and are still working on it, I'm going to call that a win. I just like the way North Las Vegas is really working hard to grow and expand and develop, increase the tax base and bring up the value of all of the property in Las Vegas and serve the community of North Las Vegas. I'm very excited about that. Now, in summary, North Las Vegas is a truly remarkable comeback story that showcases its resiliency and its ability to transform. It's truly inspiring. Once they grappled with early difficulties, multiple economic downturns, racial gut punches, somehow they've come back stronger and more vibrant than ever. Under visionary leadership, North Las Vegas has been attracting companies and expanding their industrial space, their manufacturing space and retail space, all the while while maintaining a welcoming atmosphere for its residents and also incredible affordability. Psst. Partly that's due to that incredible new tax base. Thank you very much. Now, North Las Vegas' journey from near bankruptcy to a thriving economic powerhouse is really nothing short of inspiring. It's rich history coupled with ongoing development and community initiatives make it an exciting and dynamic place to call home. This city is on the rise where opportunities abound and the spirit of renewal is palpable. Friends, stay tuned for more video deep dives into the incredible neighborhoods here in Las Vegas. For more videos about Las Vegas and relocating here, be sure to check out the videos on the screen. Friends, thank you so much for watching today. I sure appreciate you being with me. By the way, my name is Micah Bleacher and I love living in Las Vegas. I think you're gonna love living here too. Come join me on my neighborhood deep dives. We're covering a lot of ground, we're learning things, and we're having fun. Hit subscribe, tap the bell, and never miss a show. We got new shows every week. And if you're one month away or one year away, it doesn't matter. Now is always the best time to reach out. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, schedule a Zoom. I can't wait to get to know you, hear you, hear, understand your needs, and help you start making that painless easy move here to the great city of Las Vegas, maybe North Las Vegas. See you in the next video, friends. Peace out.